Uh, look, it's a long process. Um, pretty much first we would look at what players we want to bring back from last season. We had a really good season last year with Larissa as her first time as head coach, so I liaise quite closely with her on a regular basis and work out who we need to re-sign again. Um, so that was the first step. Um, and then we've pretty much filled the gaps based on what positions we already have. So um, we've you know, we don't have Annalise coming back, so we've had to find someone that fits that position in the, in the four and sometimes can swing to the three. Um, we're pretty close to signing someone there um, the next day. So um, we're, we're pretty much down the track to signing and sign nine of the, the core ten players. So uh, we've done really, really well and worked really, really hard um, between the two of us and Graham. We've, we've got a good team on that's ready to go. Uh, no, no, but I said I would always make a comeback if they brought back the bodysuit and as long as number nine is available. <laughs> <laughs> uh, challenging, uh, a real eye-opener. It was my first season over there. Um, I'd had a, a couple of years under my, belt, under my belt in Europe, so I went in there quite confident. Um, it's another step up from our league and Europe, so I knew it would be a challenge. Um, different coach, different coaching style. He'd come from a very successful program from the previous league before the WNBA and brought his core group with him, so it was quite hard to, I guess, slot myself in there into a, a position and get big minutes. But look, it's your first season over there, you take what you can get. Um, and really, I didn't play a lot, but it was a good experience just to see how you know, how good the league is and where your game is and can compare it to how the players are over there. They're unbelievably athletic. Um, so it was, I spent a lot of time on the bench observing. Um, pretty much at the end of the season, I, I kind of gave the coach an ultimatum and said, look, if you're not gonna bring me back, you might as well trade me because I would prefer to go to another team where I'm better utilized. Um, but look, I took a few things away from that, even though I didn't play much. Um, we trained a lot as well, so um, my game improved, even with limited minutes, but I was fortunate to get the opportunity then to go to Phoenix. So we did a three for three player trade with Phoenix and went in there and probably averaged 15 to 80 minutes a game, which I was really happy with um, and had a really good season under a different coach. And she was a past player, so she kind of got my game as well and utilised my strengths and that resulted in a really good season. Um, and that was sort of the end of my WNBA career right there because I decided at that stage that having have, you know, I had a young child at the time and I was playing back to back with Europe, um, it was, was quite tough. So I opted to take the Europe route as opposed to WNBA. So I continued many years playing in Europe and back here in Australia for a bit of a rest. Yeah, definitely. Um, look, all three medals were really all special in their own way. Um, you know, we won bronze in Atlanta. Um, that was, we celebrated like we'd won gold. That was our first medal at senior level. So that was a huge feat. And, um, and it was important too to come out really with a medal because we had a few players that were then retiring after that that hadn't won a medal and played a lot of years with the national team and, and really set the standard with the culture of the program. So it was a really good way for some players to go out winning the bronze. Um, you know, in Sydney, obviously being on your home turf was really special. So I had, like everyone, we had a lot of family and friends at the games. And, you know, even between every game day, we had an off day, I could go home and see my family and, and a bit of flexibility. And, and then again, we won our first silver medal. So it was really, you know, special, special to be a part of that. And then we went to Athens and, I thought out of the three Olympics that was probably our best chance to win gold and we were, we were with them for half a game so and you know that was special in its own way because I was a captain so it was a, a different um, different role as opposed to just playing and you've obviously got to worry about everything else happening on and off the court with your teammates as captain and working with coaches and players and it's always challenging but you know it was a lot of fun and we walked away with a, a silver and I kind of knew that would be my last Olympic, so it was really important for me to go out on a high. And of all the three Olympics, I think that was, for me personally, my best one. So I, I retired very happy. Uh, 
Um, a lot of persistence. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight. So from from whenever you start playing basketball, you, you've got to you know work on that basic skills all the way through. Um, the best players are the one. I always tell kids the best players are the ones that are always there before everyone else at training, and they're always the last to leave. They're the ones that are putting in a whole lot of extra work, and it might be just an extra hundred shots after training, you know, just three pointers, or they're there before working on free throws and, and so forth. So the difference between good and great is the amount of time that you put in above and beyond what is your regular week of training, which is your team trainings and maybe your individual trainings and whatever other programs. But the one thing I did when I was growing up was I was always working on another part of my game. And I think I walked away from the game thinking I've probably done everything that I could to be the best I could. Um, I was always trying to add something else and that's what the great players do. You know, they come back each season, you see another element to their game. Um, so I tried to do that throughout my career and I think that's what made me such a versatile player and coaches could use in a number of positions. So at different times and different teams, I was playing the two, three, four, and occasionally the five in our league here. And one season I had to play the one, which was a bit worrying, but look, that's the, the benefit of having a multi skill set and adding different elements to your game that you can play multiple positions. And I think for kids, you don't want to be stuck in one position and give yourself every opportunity to be played. Um, and I know coaches love players that have that flexibility um, and it's just, it's just ongoing work, you know, and you've always got to think there's someone behind you doing that bit more. So you just want to walk away at the end of the day knowing you've done everything that you can possibly do. Oh, look, I think it'll be another successful season. I think last year we, we changed the group completely to the year before, so we're sort of starting from scratch. Um, new coach, new players, so I think they did really, really well. So we've re-signed the core group again, which is really important moving forward and keeping that consistency so you're not starting from scratch every year. Um, that's a, a big part of you know what we wanted to do. So we've already ticked that box and Marissa can come in in September, August with these players already knowing they understand the program on and off the court. Um, her, the way she plays the game on the court and then like I said earlier, we fill the gaps with some other players that I feel should transition quite easily into the way and the style of play that she has. Um, and I think cultural wise, we're, we're very selective with who we pick to make sure they fit the culture and what we want in this program to present Dandenong in a positive way on and off the court. And that core group is, once you, I think, tick all those boxes, I think we're on our way to doing really well and being very successful. Awesome, thank you, Trish. Thank you for your time. Thank you.